Welcome viewers, let's start with our top focus this hour. It's day 6 of the farmers tour and the protesting farmers and the government are all set to hold a fourth round of talks in a short while from now to break the deadlock over their MSP law demand. In fact, the farmer leaders will meet Union Minister Arjun Munda, Piyush Goel and Nityanand Rai in Chandigarh. Remember, the three earlier rounds of talks held earlier this month have resulted in agreements over various other issues, but the key one, that is the MSP law, remains unresolved. And ahead of the crucial meet, the farmer leaders have also questioned the government's intention and have asked the government to avoid dilly-dallying on the issue and find a proper permanent solution. और हम एक बात आपके माध्यम से सरकार को ये कहना चाहते हैं कि देखिए एक तरफ तो सरकार बातचीत का माहौल बना रही है दूसरी तरफ जो हमें दिखने में आ रहा है आगे जहां पे बैरिकेटिंग हुई है वहां पे पुलिस हो कोई दिक्कत नहीं है पुलिस ने अपना काम करना है लेकिन जो हमें इंफॉर्मेशन मिल रही है वो ये मिल रही है कि वहां पे कुछ ऐसे हैं जिनके ना नेम प्लेट है ना उनको उनके जो यूनिफॉर्म होनी चाहिए वो यूनिफॉर्म है वो कौन लोग हैं जो वहां पे मतलब आगे तैनात किए हुए हैं सरकार का जो जो अंदर का रवैया इस चीज से बाहर निकल के आ निकल कर आ रहा है दिख रहा है कि सरकार की नीयत ठीक नहीं है आज क्या-क्या निर्णय आप लोगों ने लिए हैं थोड़ा हमें विस्तार पूर्वक बताएं निर्णय लिया गया 21 फरवरी को डिस्ट्रिक्ट हेड क्वार्टर पे डीएम के यहां डीसी के यहां ट्रैक्टर उससे के साथ में हम जाकर अपना प्रदर्शन करेंगे जो पंजाब हरियाणा के किसानों के साथ मत्ताचार हुआ एमएसपी गारंटी कानून के लिए स्वामीनाथन कमेटी की रिपोर्ट के लिए जो हमारे इशू है किसान के उसमें और उसका विरोध जो पंजाब में आज चल रहा है सरकार के पास में टाइम है उनसे सरकार समझौता करें 21 तारीख के प्रोग्राम हमारे फेर भी होंगे तो ये भी कहा जा रहा है कि इतने प्रोटेस्ट हो रहे हैं इतने फार्मर यूनियन है कुछ फूट भी है कुछ डिसएग्रीमेंट भी माना जा रहा है फार्मर्स में आपस में वो तो रहता ही है परिवार तो बटता ही है लेकिन बटा हुआ परिवार मजबूती के साथ में ज्यादा लड़ाई लड़ता है सर आपने ये भी कहा कि टिकैत परिवार एक गोली खाएगा एक कहा कि एक कुर्बानी टिकैत परिवार की भी जानी चाहिए इन आंदोलन में तो ये किसान आजाद हो जाएगा साढ़े सात सौ किसान वहां से ही हुए तो इसका मतलब हम आंदोलन में कमजोर हैं तो, तो पूरी पूर, अभी तक दिल्ली के लिए कोई कॉल नहीं दिया गया है लेकिन दिल्ली के नहीं दे, जब दिन देंगे तो दिल्ली की फिर वापसी थोड़ा होती है एक दिन ट्रैक्टर दिल्ली की तरफ को खड़े करके कर दिखाएंगे हाईवे पर चढ़ाएंगे एक तरफ का हाईवे खुला रहेगा आते जाते लोग देखते रहेंगे कि ट्रैक्टर खड़े कभी भी आ सकते हैं in fact, uh, these were the reactions coming in from the farmers uh, who were part of the meeting earlier as well. And uh, there's been no breakthrough in the talks yet. And uh, this has, of course, given the opposition an opportunity to target the Modi-led uh, central government. West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee has once again condemned the police's action on the cops, saying that uh, the farmers are protesting and the country is burning, but the BJP is not bothered. <laughs> এবং জানিয়ে বলি দেখুন এত সমস্যা নিয়ে কাজ করি বিজেপি চেষ্টা করে সব জায়গাতে গিয়ে কোন না কোন একটা ইস্যুকে খাড়া করে একটা ঝামেলা বানানো দাও কোথাও আদিবাসীদের সাথে মুসলিমদের দাঙ্গা বানায় কোথাও হিন্দুদের সাথে মুসলমানদের দাঙ্গা বানায় কখনো শিখের সাথে খ্রিস্টানদের দাঙ্গা বানায় আমাদের কৃষিরা কৃষকরা ধান উৎপাদন করে তাদের আমরা বলি অন্নদাতা তাদের ধান থেকে চাল হয় সেই চাল খেয়ে সবজি খেয়ে আমরা বেঁচে থাকি অথচ দেখুন আমাদের এখানে ওদের কোনো অসুবিধা হয় না অথচ পাঞ্জাব জ্বলছে হরিয়ানা জ্বলছে দিল্লি জ্বলছে কৃষকরা যেন পৌঁছতে না পারে রাস্তায় ট্রাক কিলার মানে টায়ার কিলার লাগানো হচ্ছে যাতে কৃষকরা গিয়ে পৌঁছতে না পারে किसान की कम होती हुई प्रोडक्टिविटी किसान की बढ़ती हुई लागत और किसान की बहुत ज्यादा कम होती हुई इनकम कसमे वादे प्यार वफा सब बातें हैं बातों का क्या किसान की एमएसपी को डबल कर दिया जाएगा किसान की इनकम को 
डबल कर दिया जाएगा क्या इससे बड़ा इल्यूजन झूठ दुनिया में कोई है All right, uh, we're getting you all the updates as far as the farmers' uh, protest is concerned. And joining us live on the broadcast with more details on this is my colleague Pradeep. Pradeep, uh, all set for the fourth round of talks uh, between the farmers and the centre. But uh, while the earlier three rounds uh, did come about uh, a lot of discussions on various other issues, there were a lot of uh, common grounds that were met. The issue of MSP still persists, and the farmers seem very, very adamant on it. Help us understand the situation right now, and also the future plans of the farmers if the talks. even now do not hold you rightly said in fact there had been three rounder talks all the three rounder talks had been inconclusive and now all eyes will be on the fourth rounder talk in a short while this is going to start in chandigarh where the union minister as well as the various farmers leaders they will be participating it's to be seen whether last time we saw that bhagwant pan chief minister of punjab was playing a role of an intermediary whether this time also they will he will be part of the talks or not that's to be seen but yes all i can say right now is that uh, they are insisting on four five important thing one is that they want the legal guarantee on msp so so far no resolution had been there and they are asking for the pension for the farmers they are asking that all those cases need to be withdrawn against the farmers who were part of agitation in 2021 and also to be uh, that in uh, total they want the implementation of subramanian commission report that was presented in 2006 they want that report to be uh, implemented in total that's what actually the farmers are demanding but so far as the farmers are not that hopeful because they feel that government is somewhere either is trying to buy time or dilly dallying with the issue they feel that government is trying to scuttle uh, their moment rather than trying to resolve issue by agreeing to their demands but so far as the government is concerned because they feel that is not only about uh, their demands it is more about a political campaign where they are trying to uh, bring down the popularity of narendra modi government because there had been certain videos that had been making rounds on social media where some of the kisan leaders were talking about how the popularity of the narendra modi has risen uh, after the um, consecration of rab lalla at ayodhya uh, so they feel that uh, now uh, this is the time to right. teach them a lesson so that's one of the reason they feel if you look at the timing of the protest it is basically more of with a political motive than are there but yes that uh, kisan right now seem to be a divided house because last time the people who had been on right. the forefront right now they have taken a back seat that's what actually is happening on the ground so you must have seen that many of the farmers uh, union from the haryana they have not joined the protest but so far as this uh, kisan here in punjab are concerned uh, they are waiting uh, for the decision of this meeting once the decision will be out accordingly they will be deciding the future course of action meanwhile the security has been beefed up they are trying to ensure there should be all kind of restrictions so that the farmers are not able to move toward delhi right so the deep of course the all of eyes on the fourth round of talks and also like you are mentioning there uh, security has been beefed up the government ensuring that while the dialogue goes on there is no slip up as far as the security is concerned and the law of the land is the ultimate priority for the government appreciate you joining us on the broadcast there with all those details shifting tracks now prime minister narendra modi has set the tone for the 2024 lok sabha polls in fact in the bjp council meet the pm has given a clear message to the cadre asking them to work with renewed vigor and confidence for the next 100 days to reach out to new voters and win their confidence to ensure NDA returns to power after the upcoming general elections in fact he also asserted that winning 370 seats will be a true tribute to its key ideologue shyama prasad mukherjee addressing the convention the prime minister also promised vikas for bharat and cited the accomplishments of his second term he also took on the congress over corruption and said that it's a rashtraniti above rajniti for the bjp hum rajniti ke liye nahi राष्ट्र नीति के लिए निकले हैं हम तो छत्रपति शिवाजी महाराज को मानने वाले लोग हैं जब छत्रपति शिवाजी महाराज का राजा अभिषेक हुआ तो उन्होंने ये नहीं किया कि अब तो छत्रपति बन गए सत्ता मिल गई तो चलो उसका आनंद लो उन्होंने अपना मिशन जारी रखा ऐसे ही उनसे प्रेरणा लेकर के मैं अपने सुख वैभव के लिए जीने वाला व्यक्ति नहीं हूं
Not just did the Prime Minister talk about uh, Mission 2024, not just was it focused about uh, getting over 370 and 400 seats, he also called the Congress party anti-security forces and he even accused the Congress of hurting India's national security and strategic power time and again. भारत की राष्ट्रीय सुरक्षा और सामरिक शक्ति को नुकसान पहुंचाने में कांग्रेस ने कोई कसर नहीं छोड़ी है आप सिर्फ सोचिए कि पांच साल पहले इन लोगों ने क्या कहा था इन लोगों ने हर कोशिश की कि हमारी वायु सेना को राफेल जैसे एडवांस एयरक्राफ्ट न मिल पाए चेयर आज कैसे धूमधाम से आगे बढ़ रहा है in fact, the Prime Minister was at his uh, confident best and he also said that the opposition in the country is also raising slogans of NDA Sarkar Char so far. Today, Vipash ke neta bhi NDA Sarkar Char so par ke nare laga rahe hai. Aur NDA ko Char so par karane ke liye Bhajapa ko 370 का माइलस्टोन पार करना ही होगा